I'm Raina Lutz for 2 Joe Wellness and today I'm going to be teaching you to make your own mead at home. Now making wine and beer is legal in most places but you'll want to check before we get started. If you're good to go, the first thing we'll need is some honey. So raw local organic honey is preferable but creamed works as well. And the recipe that I have today is from Sandra Katz's book Wild Fermentation. It is a Ethiopian honey wine and the ratio is one part honey to four parts water. So today I have a half a cup honey and two cups of water. So I'm just gonna add the honey to our jar. And we wanna be using really clean utensils. So we're gonna stir this really, really well with a nice clean wooden spoon. And once your honey has dissolved, we want to cover the jar with clean cheesecloth or a tea towel and secure it with a rubber band. So we're going to be stirring it a few times a day, as many times as we can remember, for about four to seven days. Once you notice that your mead is starting to get aromatic, you'll know that it's time to transfer it to its secondary container, a glass jug or a glass bottle. I have this happy balloon to remind me of a not so happy story where I was fermenting some honey wine in my pantry and it exploded at four in the morning. Not the best way to wake up. So the balloon over top of the bottle is a great way to release gases without letting anything in. If you can remember to take the lid off your jug every day to release the pressure and gases, that's great. We're gonna store it in the pantry for one and a half to two weeks. At that point, it's tasting time. Once it reaches the taste and smell that you love, we're gonna cap it or cork it and move it to the refrigerator to stop the fermentation process. All that's left then is to enjoy your honey mead and share it with your friends. 